Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well. Today I am going to show you how to redirect the URL to portal when someone is logging via SS4. Let's see. Example: If users with roles log in, okay, then it should redirect to IT view or portal. Depends upon the URL they selected, okay. And if users with no roles they're trying to log in, then it should always redirect to portal. Okay, let's see how to configure these things in service now. Uh, we need two users, like one user with um, uh, roles, one user without roles. For example, I have created a test user one with ITL role and test user two with no roles. Let's see how to configure and test with these users, okay? Log into your instance. So to configure such kind of behavior, we need to go to system properties, okay? Sys underscore properties dot list. Here, here we need to uh, add two properties. For example, we need to see this one, like glide entry first page script and glide entry page script. Before adding these two properties, let's check in the system properties table, these two properties are available or not, okay? Copy this one and search. Okay, so this property is not available in the instance. Let's add it. Okay, click on new. Name, you need to give the property name. Okay, remove the extra spaces. Okay, type is string and value is this one like new SP entry page, get first page URL. Okay. SP entry page is the script include. Okay, this is available. Okay, add in the value place. Okay, if you want any descriptions or choices, you can do it. Okay, if you want to read roles, this is not required. Okay, private is not required. Ignore catch is selected. Okay, submit this one and add other property. Okay, uh, before adding the mother filter so that. Uh, Okay, add other property. Click on new, same. Copy this one. Glide entry page script. Okay, paste, remove the extra spaces. Copy the value. New SP entry page, get login URL. Okay, and submit it. Okay, so we configured, configuration is done. Okay, let's test it. Okay, for example, um, I will go to the user's table. User's table. Um, let me search with the, the name, test user one, test user, okay, let's see. So we have test user one and test user two. Test user one is having ITL role. Test user two is not having any roles. Okay. Copy the email. Okay. Copy the email. Let's see uh, how to log in with SS4. So this test user one is having ITL. Uh, so this test user one is having ITL ITL role, okay, ITL role, so he can log in directly to portal or IT view, okay. Let's see how he will log in, okay. Copied that one. Without a uh, logout, we will go to another window by copying the URL, open and uh, another browser, and paste the URL. Now add the test term. Uh, uh, 
now let me add the uh, email address of the test uh, one okay test user one email address is like one and let's log in it okay add the password and sign it okay so this is first time we are entering the test uh, one user so that's the reason okay change the password to something else sign it click on s So now it automatically redirect to uh, IT view. Okay, it's automatically redirect to IT view. Okay, so now if I log out, I can copy the URL because I directly gave the IT view uh, normal uh, uh, URL. So whenever the test user one tries to log in, so it redirects to uh, IT view. Okay. Now log out again. Log out and again log in with the same user. Okay, same user, but give the SP at the end. Okay, like portal. Okay, so enter it. So now it again redirects to SDFS page. Okay, log in with test u1 user. Give the password. Now it will redirect to portal view because we gave as an uh, we gave the SP portal URL. Okay, at the end we gave the SP that is a uh, uh, out of the box uh, portal. So that's the reason uh, it is redirected to portal view. Okay, so if you want to or uh, if you want to go to IT view, you can remove the uh, portal suffix and enter. Okay, then it will go to IT view. So why it is going to IT view? The user is having ITL role. So that's the reason it is going back to IT view or coming back to portal. Okay. Now let's log in with user two, test user two, and see the behavior. If the user is go, uh, trying to log in to IT view or not. Okay. Let's see. Log out. Now, if I remove this one external logout, I am giving, see, if you see, if you observe, I am giving only the uh, IT view URL. I am not giving the portal, portal line, uh, portal URL, okay? Click on enter. Okay, now use another account. Uh, that is test2, okay? This user is not having any roles. Okay. Click on next. Give the password. Okay. Sign in. See, I gave normal URL, so it is redirecting to portal view, like SP portal. Okay. So because uh, the test user 2 is not having any roles, for example, if I remove the portal, um it will not go to it view okay it will go to portal one it will redirect to portal it will not go to it view because the user is not having any roles okay if the user is having any roles then it will go to it view if the user is trying to open the it page it view page okay now uh it is good okay uh sp it is redirecting to sp what if the 
uh, customers is having other portal like uh, uh, some other uh, prefix. Okay, like uh, for this portal, it is having a stream, but uh, for some other customers, it is the suffix is different. Okay, so how to configure that? For example, uh, it should redirect to the uh, new portal. Okay, whenever the user tries to log in instead of service portal. Okay, let's see how to configure it. Now login with uh, admin user. Okay. Now we'll see. Now I will try to log in with the admin user and configure it. Uh, for example, let me create a new portal. Okay. Uh, so that we will configure that portal. Okay. Let's uh, log in. Go to IT view. Go to portals. Here we have service portal, employee center, all these things. Okay. Now, if I open service portal, for example, if I change the uh, suffix from sp to uh, for example uh, dev one two eight no 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 oh, it's so much uh, sp p okay let me add sp p and save it okay now we don't have service portal we have only sp okay so uh, when the user tries to log in, it should open the portal SPP, not SP. Okay, so how to configure that? So you need to go to the script includes. Script uh, includes. Con script include. Such um, entry page. Sorry. SP entry page. Here you need to give the this portal as SPP. Okay. And also you need to give only this one. Okay. No need of ID is equal to portal login redirect ID. Okay. So it should it should give only portals. Okay, let's save it. Now try to log in. Okay, uh, log out. Now try to log in with anyone, like uh, uh, with uh, we will log in with the user too, so he don't have any role, so it is redirecting to the right portal, SPP portal or not. Let's see. Click on test to enter the password. Sign in. So now you can see uh, this one is redirecting to SPPP. Okay, not SP because we change the uh, SP entry page speed. Okay, so that is how you need to configure. Uh, like SP entry page or system properties, like whenever the users log in, it should redirect to portal or IT view based upon the roles or not. Okay. Please do subscribe to get alerts for upcoming videos. Hope you will enjoy and learn service now. Thank you very much for your time.